With me is Dr. Srinivas Kumar, sir is Chairman Cardiovascular Sciences and Chief Cardiologist at Citizen Hospital, Hyderabad. Sir, welcome to the CSI TV studio, sir. Good afternoon. So, we we'll like to discuss little bit on the left main disease. So, what's new in that space? Are we seeing anything new in that space, sir? Actually, very, that's a very important uh, territory of interventional cardiology, which was only the territory of cardiac surgeons before. <coughs> now, we have newer data with Excel study coming up showing that even the PCI with stenting performs well uh, like surgery before. Okay. And uh, uh, it's important to do the technique right, but we have to take a help of imaging guidance like intravascular ultrasound and IVUS okay. and uh, optimo OCT like optical coherence tomography and do the procedure right to have the good results on the follow-up. Okay. Okay. So, in under trained uh, cardiologist, PCI can give you an equally good results like a CABG procedure? Yeah, actually that is what is encouraging data of Excel. In fact, the first 2-3 years, it performed slightly better than CABG, though the events were catching up later. Okay. That is because of less of our TLRs ha happening and then uh, better quality of stents happening and the technology of st uh, stenting of left main improved. Most of the thing is done, 77% were done with the uh, image guidance, I intravascular ultrasound guidance. I think that made all the difference and uh, availability of newer drugs also helps in it. So, what about the antiplatelet agents? Are the similar antiplatelet agents need to cover in these patients or is yeah, there a This is a high risk complex uh, PCI situations. We need to take help of better quality antiplatelet drugs. Like previously all of us were aware of using aspirin and clopidogrel. Now we have this newer more potent antiplatelet drugs like prasugril and ticagrelor which has come up. Yes, all sir. the advantages of each of them and where to use them, where not to use them were all discussed uh, in my talk in the uh, afternoon today. And uh, because of these better quality uh, of uh, antiplatelet drugs available, the most dreadful worry of subacute stent thrombosis, uh, so called where the stent used to clot, is dramatically come down, thereby patients uh, significantly improved outcomes on follow up. So, what should be the duration for dual antiplatelet therapy? Yeah, that is the uh, most uh, thing which is going on most of the discussion, but in India we tend to use them for a year. There is data now that with bare metal stents, even if you use it for uh, 6 months, it suffice. But with regulating stents, especially when you are using it in left main uh, territory, uh, we are comfortable giving it for about 12 months. And then depending upon the scenario, then we tend to decide whether to continue or not. Along with dual antiplatelet therapy, another important drug is a high dose aggressive stantin therapy, which is also important to prevent uh, complications on follow up uh, of uh, intervention. So high dose statin also to be given for a year or that need to be continued? Yeah, ideally if uh, cost is not an issue, it can be given further long, maybe lifelong. But in India, we always weigh cost benefit analysis. So, at least for the first three to six months post procedure, where the chance of restenosis is high, we tend to give them at least for a year. And then, depending upon the lipid levels which the patient has, we tend to decide. In spite of giving high dose, if the patient continues to have higher lipid values, we tend to continue. But if the lipid level levels are very low as recommended, like less than 130 total cholesterol, less than 70 LDL cholesterol, we might tend to decrease it. But ideally, Probably if cost is not an issue, if patient can afford, we should give them little more longer. So, what will be your two key messages for other colleagues who manage left main disease, sir? Left main, uh, it's good that we can manage by PCI, but the procedure should be done right with image guidance, with appropriate selection of stent and the technique. And second important thing is not only the procedure, even after the procedure, continuing the dual antiplatelet therapy and idostatin is important to maintain these results longer so as to be equally efficacious or sometimes better than surgery. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Actually, very, that's a very important uh, territory of interventional cardiology, which was only the territory of cardiac surgeons before. <coughs> now, we have newer data with Excel study coming up.